Okay, do you think the USA will let China beat them and get the edge on Bitcoin and blockchain technology? Oh man, I mean, very good question. Very good question. I mean, it is hard to say. I mean, but I've been around the world for crypto. Been to personally, I've been to over forty to forty-five countries, and thirty-five of them were the, were last year during a crypto world tour. So I've I've gotten a chance to really see how people are using blockchain and crypto, Bitcoin, and everything, all over the world. And what I can say is the USA is definitely behind. They're behind the game. Like I'm, I'm very concerned. Uh, the only way I can see them really catching up is if they, is if the president steps in and does something. And that's really the only way, right? But I mean, the other countries are ahead of the game, right? And and China now, right? The president, uh, what's his name? Xi Xi Ping something, right? With him saying blockchain is a top priority for China. I mean, I, I think the USA won't go down with, without a fight. They definitely do want to maintain their reserve, the, to, to maintain the dollar as the reserve status, as the re- reserve currency. But I mean, if I was a betting man, I mean, even Rome crumbled, right? <laughs> the greatest empires of all time always end up crumbling. Right? Not, nothing lasts forever, right? Rome crumbled. I mean, Great Britain crumbled. Uh, somebody I was talking to, I think, I know I also saw an article about this. So what they're saying is, the U.S. is basically Great Britain back in the 20th century, right? So in the ni- after World War II, right, Great Britain was the biggest empire in the world, right? They were, they, were, they were king of the hill. Then they had World War II. They went broke from just fighting the war. And then America rose up and replaced them and became the, the biggest empire in, in the world. But now people are saying that Towards for, for the next for the rest of the 21st century, China is going to be become the new America, the new big empire in the world. And America is going to go down the same way the UK did. Right. Uh, I could possibly see them because China has been growing like like crazy. In the last 20 years, the growth in China. I went to China with KuCoin. I was blown away. They have you travel in China and you will see cities you've never heard of the size of New York City, all right? We went to Chengdu. I had never heard of Chengdu in my life. And Chengdu is the size of New York City. You go for blocks and blocks and blocks, nothing but skyscrapers. I mean, sure, maybe there's just smoke and pollution there everywhere. So, but I mean, they have big cities you've never heard of that are huge. Like, I mean, China is massive and there's a ton of money there, a ton of money there. Right, China, Shanghai, Beijing, right, Shenzhen. I mean, China is loaded, right? So, shout out to KuCoin for giving me the ten-year Chinese visa, right? So, I'm definitely gonna go back. But yeah, I think China is China is on the on, is on the up and up. China is trending up, while the U.S. is trending down, right? We have the cutting interest rates several times. I think the only way, really. Right, not to get too political, right? I don't know. I'm not really a political person, but I've I've been following Andrew Yang a lot, Yang Gang, after he was in consensus, right? I was there. I didn't see him speak, but uh, when I heard that there was a presidential candidate at consensus, I was like, okay, this guy's pro crypto. Okay, okay, maybe this guy can tell the SEC and the US and all these organizations to hurry up, right? Because because we're going to get left behind, right? I'm not really pro taxes, right? Because he's trying to tax like this. He's trying to do, 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 to do the Amazon uh, VAT tax. But I mean, what we need is lobbying in the US. If we can get a presidential candidate, whether Andrew Yang or whoever, to really be pro crypto, go in there, change the rules and everything, and make it a lot easier for, for adoption, then the US can catch up. But if that's not going to happen, it's tough, right? Kind of like in, like in China. That's what happened in China, right? 
China was banning crypto, whatever, here and there. But now the president said, stop, right? Now we're in. We're in on crypto, right? I, I know uh, Binance and some exchanges got their, their Weibo accounts banned or whatever, right? So it seems they still have some stuff they have to, to sort out. But overall, though, it starts at the top. The people at the top say, hey, we're down with crypto. We're down with Bitcoin and blockchain. That's what has to happen. So until that happens in the U.S., right now, China is in the lead. As uh, they would say in China, uh, ni hao. Ni hao and xia xia. <laughs> that means hello and, and thank you. <laughs>